Hey guys, this is Alexa Ray Korea with Polygon, and we are coming to you from Cologne, Germany, just after the Electronic Arts Gamescom press conference. So what did we see? We saw Battlefield 4, a whole lot of sports, a little bit more on Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, Plants vs. Zombies 2, and Titanfall. Typically, I'm not really a shooter player. I get a little motion sick sometimes, but Titanfall, I wasn't gonna buy an Xbox One, or at least not right away, but Titanfall just looks too good to pass up. It looks incredible. You're shooting, you're running up the sides of buildings, you're, you're jumping in midair, jumping into mechs, onto mechs, riding them, riding in them, shooting things. There's so much going on in that world. It's, it's awesome. Personally, I'm a big fan of the direction that EA is going with Plants vs. Zombies. I think Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare looks amazing. It's cute, it's action-packed, it's so cool. And now you can play as zombies. There's a bunch of different classes, like soldier and engineer and scientist, and you can customize your loadouts and your abilities. And there's a new boss mode, which will be exclusive to the Xbox One. It looks like they're putting a lot of effort into this game, even though it sort of looked like a riff on Modern Warfare, or, you know, the generic shooter in the beginning. But I love the direction they're going in with it. It looks super cool. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. They showed Battlefield 4 again, and again, they're sort of really driving home the idea that you can destroy every map, every mode. You can jump in there with your friends and take down buildings and flood streets and drive attack boats through them. And honestly, I think that's kind of cool. Players have a little bit more control over their environment and how they use it. And I think that'll be a, probably one of the major selling points for Battlefield 4. Peggle 2! It's a Peggle game. It looks like a Peggle game. They opened the press conference with The Sims 4. The game is going to be more emotion-based and emotion-driven, so Sims emotions and the way that you control them and how you make them feel will have both short-term and long-term lasting effects through the game. And you can make out in a rocket ship. Sports. Lots of sports here. First off, they had a mini little eSports competition with Command & Conquer going on there. Not quite sure what, what that was about. I can definitely see EA wanting to jump into the eSports arena since eSports are becoming such a big thing now. Command & Conquer looks like a good start. Lots of sports, UFC and FIFA. And there was, there, were, there was sports, there were a lot of sports here today. They're putting a lot of attention into sort of how players can manage, manage their teams and level up and play. And it's, again, EA's whole thing seems to be that nitty gritty attention to detail. Dragon Age Inquisition, more choices, more lasting effects. So I guess the big takeaway for EA is whether it's their sports games or their RPGs, or they're, the way that they're you know, developing their franchises like Plants vs. Zombies. EA is definitely moving forward into next gen with their gamers and what their gamers want and letting their gamers have the best experience, that experience that they want to have in mind.